Um, last year I was a, a volunteer with another organization and then on my free time I knew that Pride needed volunteers so I started to volunteer for Pride and this was on my free time and then Pride was over I continued to volunteer and then the beginning of this year I, I started to volunteer more systematically for Pride and that's why I that's how I became an EVS uh, mentor. For young people EVS program is a really good opportunity to be engaged in a completely different reality with completely different people and it's really an opportunity to participate in an exchange and since like the festival is just for a week and the, the whole AVS program takes a month it's a really good opportunity in, in, for short-term um, um, projects um, so people can can come to Ljubljana Pride they can volunteer here they can be engaged in a lot of areas um, and then you know it's an opportunity for them to also travel and get to know another culture but at the same time do something practical when I came here to work as an EVS volunteer my experiences and knowledge and new experiences were about my self-development in terms of uh, being overwhelmed with tasks. It was more about my personal reflections and my emotional uh, grasping of the situations because I never worked with LGBTQ organizations before. Uh, so in terms of the programming and in terms of protocol and logistics, I felt as if coordinating other people was something that I, I can do and I know how to do. But also I started viewing it as a, as a new opportunity for me to uh, focus more on the diversity of characters, uh, to learn more about individuals, to focus on their strengths and weaknesses and also be here for them if they need some help. A lot of things happen in, in, this, in this month, let's say, and I think it happens when you gather a group of people you know that maybe never met each other and then they have to work and live with each other every day so that always brings interesting results and last year we got really good feedback from people that they started to be more active in their own communities and also one of those uh, volunteers then volunteered in a long-term project for pride as well and she's still here volunteering so that's really amazing my experience in here was really nice because um, i saw all this contrast between uh, the madrid pride and the um, Ljubljana Pride and it was really nice to share the experience with other volunteers from other countries. Dealing with pressure is not always <laughs> something that I can do, so I think I learned a little bit of this, of this experience. One of the most um, good part of uh, this experience was sharing my flat with uh, a local um, who has teach me like a little bit more about the culture, the history of Slovenia, punk from the 80s and this kind of stuff. I didn't uh, have any idea of this thing and he um, introduced me these topics. My experience was good because I've met a lot of great people. I, I've been actually first time on a gay parade so it was really nice and I was in the track so I didn't even have to march <laughs> so I just danced the whole way. I, I think I will go to the next gay pride in my country if I will be in Slovakia at the time but I would really like to go. Like it was like really empowering and like I was smiling and laughing the whole time so it was really nice. This was actually my first Pride ever, anywhere, and I applied for the experience of being behind the scenes of the Pride, of seeing how the organizations of the festivals and NGO organizations work and function, and this experience was great. I got to see a lot of things and how they actually function uh, for the longest time before the Pride. The pride is set. Um, I got to meet people from everywhere. It's it's really great. Um, if you're planning to apply, it's not just people from Slovenia, even in the in the core organizing team. And it was really really great seeing all these cultures come together and work on such a worthy cause. And I would definitely suggest to anybody thinking of getting involved either with NGOs, uh, with pride organizations, somebody who's interested in traveling and meeting people internationally to, to apply and join Ljubljana Pride, Ljubljana Pride Festival. This is my first time in Slovenia and I love it so far. But Ljubljana is like a village to me because I live in Istanbul where you can find 15 million people. But I still love it because it's so peaceful and quiet here and people seem happy and they're really friendly. And you'll also meet some special people here. 
who will help you through your experience and you will have a lot of fun. When people finish their EBS uh, project, they for sure know how the LGBT community here works. They are acquainted with the main activists and they also experience how it is to volunteer for a festival that even though it's quite small has quite a significant impact. And for sure you are more than prepared to volunteer in other Pride festivals, either in Ljubljana or anywhere else. So.